Steve, I'm with you. Hi, can you hear me? I can. Do I know you from before? Your name seems new to me. Uh, from before, you mean have we worked together before? Yeah. No. Mm -mm. All right, well, let's start. I have the audio recording now. Julian Lee talking with Shani. California, I think this was to be a current location reading, right? Correct. Well, let's start in on that then. Hang on here. Well, in this place, uh, you probably work hard. There's probably a lot of demand for you. You probably take care of some people or something. Uh, the chart would tend to make you a caretaker of some kind, ranging from property manager to counselor to social worker or something. Um, and you are viewed, you're found to be attractive. You feel like uh, this location brings out your charm and good looks and desire to help people, and you probably have many contacts and relations with many people. You may not like uh, the area where you live or the surroundings. Uh, there may be a rough kind of quality or gritty quality to where you live, uh, including kids maybe around who are trouble. Or Do you have children? I have one son, yeah, who's five. I see. You're, so your son's around a lot. He makes a lot of... Uh, drama and move, move, movement and uh, uh, activity around you, big time. And, uh, yeah, there's a child around you or children, and he may bring friends who are quite quite a trip also <laughs> <laughs> into your life. Um, the people who get close to you are people either really immersed in their work and their job or a health problem or health worry. So you would tend to know hard-working friends and people who have a job that's all consuming and or people with health worries. Uh, this is a feature here, too. Um, in general, relationships are kind of confused. Uh, if we talk about the marriage realm, kind of wild and confused and not very stable here and probably won't ever be that stable here in this location. There's some way that you live in a place that is unsatisfactory to you or not as large as you'd like or not as pretty as you'd like. Is there truth to that? Oh, my God. This is, I think you're actually streaming my consciousness. This is <laughs> word for word. It's, I'm absolutely dumbfounded. I mean, everything. Oh. Like, oh, my God. Well, this kind of astrology I do is better than the usual stuff. It's more accurate kind of astrology. Oh and I'm just, God. I'm more experienced with it. Now, part of your role here will be, I suffer and sacrifice as a mother. Part of your role will be, I'm a professional mother to others. Now, how is that true? Is that true? Um, well, I work at my son's preschool co-op. Um, I really do <laughs> oh, there love, you go. Love, yeah, I love being with the kids. That's something well, I really, when you, really when enjoy. Anybody working in a in a preschool or a school or an elementary, that's being a professional mother. So, there you go. Um, now, there are elements uh, in the environment that you don't like. Uh, something about the neighborhood or the way things look. Uh, is that so? Oh, my God. It's exactly exactly what you described. I mean, I'm a writer, and I, used, I would use those words. You said gritty, because I'm writing things down. You said gritty, rough quality, not pretty enough. It's ex exactly that. I live in a bit of a rough neighborhood that's just not enough trees, and I, I'm yearning to live in a place with more green greenery and less crime. We have shootings on our streets and stuff. So yeah, yeah, all of that. Highly, highly likely, highly likely with this chart, um, you'll you'll have things like uh, nightclubs, dance halls, strip joints, things like that in the environment. Also. <laughs> <laughs> this is, is it true? Definitely. I mean, this was a notorious neighborhood, I think, for, for, um, for that kind of action. 
So the strip um, clubs, they're they're around, uh huh. Yeah. They probably are oh, not too this far can away. Also be, uh, this can also be sort of gambling halls and card playing spots and things like that. This comes from the um, uh, fourth house ruler being in the fifth house and receiving this slow conjunction from Mars, and so uh, you know, kind of sexy things and prostitution <laughs> that'll be around. Yeah. <laughs> Am I right? I think we think a lot of prostitution in this neighborhood. Yeah, yeah there are. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, anyway, um, let's look further here. Let's see. Give me a minute. But there's this charm you have and this artistic impulse, and uh, like you channel some kind of beauty. There's something where you make something prettier. I don't know if you do art or draw or illustrate or do something in music, or you're good with fashion or colors or design. Um, you would have this really charm and aesthetic uh, power to you here. Does mm. that seem to be true? Yeah, definitely. What is it you mainly yeah. do that expresses that? I work as a copywriter. I write um, copy that would otherwise be very dull and dreadful, and I spruce it up and make oh. it interesting. <laughs> yeah, you make it humanly interesting. Uh huh. Yeah. You're good at that. And uh, yeah. <laughs> You, you're very, very, um, let's say, skilled verbally, um, and uh, the words come easy. You're full of words, and yeah. uh, the writing's easy to do, and the editing's yeah. easy to do. Now, you've known some yeah. very unusual people here. Some of them will, <laughs> some of them will be healers, or you know, hands-on, or Reiki types, or people who have some kind of highfalutin, esoteric, chiropractic, you know. <laughs> <laughs> technique, you know, some kind of magic they do with like shaman types, you know, in the health area. In fact, probably every other person you know is either a massage therapist or a chiropractor. <laughs> is it true? Yes, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, they're into the most advanced, unusual technique, whether that's, you know, Reformated Heilkunst homeopathic, uh, you know, something. So just people who know <laughs> unusual skills. All right. Mm -hmm. um, basically, you probably feel here that the environment's not what you want for your son. Mm -hmm. Is that true? Um, it's true on many levels. Um, I just don't see myself here long term. Um, although I do mm. love the Bay, the Bay Area, there's exactly for those reasons you described. Um, but I, I, I would I yearn to bring him up in in a more sort of safe place where there's lots of trees and maybe yeah. maybe even more rural. I'm not sure, but yeah, there's yeah. a huge itch to leave here. There's a huge drive to leave here that looks like it's been here a long time. Um, I think you should leave here um, huh. once Mars finishes conjunction your moon and once Pluto starts quincunxing your moon. In a few years, you're going to like this environment less than before. Uh, the best uh, years are going to be over. Once wow. Pluto starts to get towards 21 Capricorn in two or three years, you're going to really be done with uh, anything in the Bay Area, anything in Capricorn.